Hello, welcome to the channel. I'd like to start out by saying I created this video to help myself learn animation in Adobe After Effects uh, more than putting on a display of my awesome skills putting. Anyways, hopefully this video will be helpful to some people who have never seen the course before. Maybe you're playing a winter team challenge or have an event here. The chapters are organized by hole, so you can reference the particular hole easier. Also threw in those little orange baskets to help see the hole better, and the follow flight effect. They have leagues here every Monday night for singles, and then Fridays are doubles, random doubles. They also started a glow league after the singles league Monday nights, and those usually start up around, ooh, I don't know, middle of May, April, and usually run until October somewhere. I'll try to post a uh, better information in the description once I figure that out. I was going to make like uh, scoreboard animations and all that stuff, but after, uh, I don't know, at least 40 hours into this video, I decided I'll just uh, say the score after each hole, so we're at par at the moment. There's the first bogey. Plus one. If you haven't been to League before, I highly recommend checking it out. It's always a good time. All the baskets are lighted for Glow League, and many of the Guardian Trees are also lit to help navigate the course. The name of this channel is Sail Escape, and one day we plan to sail around the world. But in the meantime, if you could like, subscribe to follow along, or hit the bell to be notified when we upload new adventures. That would be awesome. Forgot to mention, everything is a par 3 on this course, so that was a birdie to put us back to even. A four to put us at plus one for the round. Hole five is a blind hyzer shot down the hill. And back to par. Every hole out here is definitely birdieable of the harder holes it's probably this one number six and number 11 and 18 that can be a little bit trickier to reach sometimes didn't have a super good shot here got pretty lucky making it through that gap my defense. I haven't played around a disc in about a month at this point, so my uh, putting definitely needs some improvement. Another par. Even Steven. Even. Do better. Let's do 
added up to hole number nine. This was my first ace hole back in 2007, or maybe it was 2009. I couldn't read it on the board anymore. And didn't have any pictures or remember it that well, but it was a nice shot. a double bogey to go two over par for the round. This course might not be everybody's favorite course in Maine, but it is definitely one of my favorites and will always hold a special place in my heart and mind. Finally, snaggy birdie to go plus one for the round. Another one of my favorite holes here, number 11, big ol' hyzer. Unfortunately, I didn't have a great shot here. Broke my favorite disc I used to throw on this uh, super old champion boss earlier this winter. So sad. like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Pretty standard hit the gap and hyzer shot. And this particular one I uh, pulled over went in a bad spot. In the warmer months, usually a little bit of water in the pond up here. I'm gonna be careful of, so it's good to make sure you go left. Right is no good. Man, it 
damage to save the par. Keeps us at plus one for the round. Hole number 14, another laser. Finally, a birdie I can make. Bring us back to even. Outhouse to the right of the cabin if you need to use one. Staying at par. The first flight follow path I did on Adobe After Effects. It probably took me about six hours to figure out just one hole. But by the time I was, uh, you know, I got over the first one and I don't know how many I animated, at least 14 of them, maybe? I don't know. But it would only take me like 10 or 15 minutes per shot after that, so improvement. par but that was another bogey go plus one for the round this hole is my most recent ace which I got last year because my only ace of the year hopefully get it again one day this is another hole you have to be careful about going long on definitely water here in the warmer months and my shot over here on the left, I would have been wet. Would have been a nice birdie, but it's gonna be a par. Stay at plus one for the round. Ends it with plus two for the round. That was a bogey on that one. I feel like if I uh, could have made a 10 to 20 foot putt, would have been doing a heck of a lot better. Oh well. Ended the day playing a round of PS3 disc golf in the clubhouse with Rick. And that was a day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.